Hey everyone, I'm Taya from Design Bundles. Today I'm going to be showing you how to import and download brushes, bundles and stamps from designbundles.net and how you can use these in Procreate. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I created a portrait using some of the stamps and brushes that I downloaded today. I hope you stick around to watch. After you have purchased what you want to use from designbundles.net, you need to click the green button beside the bundle that says Download Files. This will open a small part on the page that has a file. You will need to click on this and it will take you into a new tab in your browser. Allow the page to load, then click Download. Then you can go through and do this with all of the bundles that you have purchased. I find it fun to purchase new brushes and stamps to use in Procreate because they provide a more diverse and exciting experience. Once you have downloaded all of your files, you will need to go into your files folder on your device. You cannot import these into Procreate until you have opened each individual zip folder. You do this by simply clicking on each of the files. To import sets into Procreate, you will first need to click on the brush tool. Once the tab is open, you will need to click on the plus button, which will open a new screen with options for the current brush you have selected. On the top right hand corner of this screen is an import button, which you will need to select. From here, you will simply need to select the brush set from the folder. Do this with every bundle you have downloaded and they will appear at the top of your brush tools tab. It is extremely easy to use the stamps. Instead of dragging your pen like you would with a brush, you simply tap the screen to use them. Now it is extremely easy to customize these stamps as well. By clicking on the Select tool, you are given a variety of options. Uniform allows you to simply make the stamp bigger or smaller, but it will keep its shape. By selecting Warp, you will be able to manipulate the stamp however you want. Distort works by allowing you to select the corners of the object and move them around to distort the image. Lastly, Freeform is like Uniform, however it will not keep the original shape of the stamp when you move it. It is also simple to add new colours to the stamps. You can simply add a new layer on top of the one with the stamp, then tap the layer to bring up the options and select Clipping Mask. This allows you to draw in a separate layer, but it will only show up where the previous layer has marks. This is a good way of adding highlights, textures and shadows to a work while still keeping the original artwork at the bottom. You can do this with all the stamps, and even with areas you have drawn on with a brush. It is a good method of colouring in your work without having to worry about ruining an important layer. Here you will see me change the colours of this rainbow stamp using this method. You can add as many colours and textures as you want and they will never go outside the lines unless you delete the layer that it is connected to. Here I go through and swatch each of the brushes for you. As you can see, you can change the size of the brushes like the preset brushes that come with the app. Bundles such as this are great because they allow you to create textures that you wouldn't have otherwise. It allows you to broaden the possibilities of your art and make it easier for you to progress and feel confident with what you create. Here I show you how I can create a portrait using the brushes and stamps I have downloaded from designbundles.net. I take the circle and the hexagon as my base, as when these are put together they form the same shape as a face. I then change to the preset sketching brush the 6B pencil to begin building the shape of the face. At the end, I also use the Tropical Leaf Stamp Set to create a background. On these leaves, I use the Grass Brush Set to add texture. On designbundles.net, there are a plethora of sets that can help you achieve any sort of artwork that you want. If you want to do more portraiture, for instance, you can stick to doing something simple like this, where you use the shapes to help guide you when sketching. However, there are more in-depth and detailed bundles on the website that provide you with facial guides, figure guides, lip outline stamps, hand stamps, and so much more. If you're interested in illustration, there are countless brushes dedicated to different textures you may need, including sand, grass, hair, white noise, sponge, graffiti, grit, grainy textures, paper, and even ones that mimic impressionism. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you subscribe to Design Bundles by clicking the button below and go check out our website for all your design and illustration needs.